It's not the technology that makes something successful. It's, it's the way it interfaces with the human and the way people use it. My cancer doctor told me we're gonna to have to amputate. I had a traumatic brain concussion and I felt my mind change. The doctor told us there is no treatment for that disease. When I first lost my eyesight, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't use a phone anymore. I couldn't use a computer. I most likely never will be able to walk again. Really, I don't remember nothing until I woke up a month and a half later. I got introduced to Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab. They had a project to build the arm that was said revolutionizing prosthetics. I was looking for any glimmer of hope. Finding the exoskeleton was that glimmer of hope. This disease has been identified in 1963, and there is nothing for that disease. If no one was doing it, then I had to do it. So I quit my job and started Lysogen. The first time they told me, Johnny, I want you to think, close your hand. So I think, close hand, and man, I come by. Yeah! Three, two, one, go. Just to give them that ability to do something like that again makes me happy, so. The human mind, you know, the world inside of our head is just as, as complex as the world outside of it. This is the beginning of a neuro revolution. You have your own stem cells as an adult. They exist in, in our bodies, and it's given me an opportunity to be a part of this experiment procedure that I think is going to change the world. If we reach the market, what's next? I'm just the, the Model T of the technology. We are every day evolving. In 10 years from now, we'll, we will be a different species. We'll still be humans, but we'll be different humans than we are today. He's not doing it just for himself. He wants to help other people.